In 5, section 2, factorise x squared minus 81. First rule of factorising is to look for the highest common factor. Thereafter, a difference to squares um, is something that we'd look at. For this one, there's no common factor. So it's straight to a difference to squares. So a difference to squares is a bracket with a plus, bracket with a minus. Then we take the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 81, which is 9. And the final answer to this question is x plus 9, x minus 9. You could write it as x minus 9, x plus 9, that would be fine as well. Example 2, factorise 25 minus p squared. So again, we look for the highest common factor. First of all, it's not one to be found, so it's straight to difference two squares. Bracket with a plus and bracket with a minus. The square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of p squared is obviously just p. 5 plus p, 5, plus p, 5 minus p. That's the final answer. Question 3. Factorise 3x squared minus 27. Well, there is a common factor that we can take out to keep going. 3 bracket x squared minus 9. You're not finished there because we can do a difference of 2 squares inside. So, bracket with a plus, bracket with a minus. The square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 9 is 3. Don't forget that there's a 3 at the front, and that's the final answer. Example 4. The factor is 45 minus 5a squared. So again, we look for a common factor. So from 45 and 5, I can take 5. And that's 5 bracket 9 minus a squared. We can do a difference to squares with 9 minus a squared. Bracket with a plus, bracket with a minus. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of a squared is a. Remember the 5 at the front. And the final answer is 5 bracket 3 plus a, bracket 3 minus a. Example 5. Factorise 4t squared minus 16. Now it could be tempted for this question to go straight to a difference to squares. Square root of 4t squared would be 2t, square root of 16 would be 4. But you wouldn't pick up full marks for the question. You need to go with taking out the highest common factor first, and you always must look for that as your first move. So that's 4 bracket, t squared minus 4. And it's now a difference of 2 squares with t squared minus 4. Bracket or plus bracket or minus, square root of t squared is t, square root of 4 is 2. And 4 at the front, final answer, 4 bracket t plus 2 bracket t minus 2. Example 6, factorise 4m squared minus 25n squared. So first of all, check for the highest common factor, but there's not one that I can take out, so it's straight to a difference of 2 squares. Bracket with a plus, bracket with a minus. The square root of 4m squared is 2m. The square root of 25n squared is 5n. Final answer, 2n plus 5n, bracket 2n minus 5n. Factorise 9a squared minus 36b squared. Well, first of all, there's a highest common factor of 9. So that's 9 bracket a squared minus 4b squared. You can now do a difference of 2 squares in here. So bracket with a plus, bracket with a minus. The square root of a squared is a. The square root of 4b squared. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of b squared is b, so that's 2b. There's a 9 at the front. Final answer, 9 bracket a plus 2b, bracket a minus 2b.